ముందుగా ప్రియమైన విద్యార్థిని విద్యార్థులకు మరియు వారి తల్లిదండ్రులకు నమస్కారం నా పేరు కె వెంకన్న కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజీ చైర్మన్ నేను ఈ రోజు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ విద్యార్థులను దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకుని మాట్లాడడం జరుగుతుంది అది ఏమిటనగా మనందరికీ తెలుసు గత రెండు సంవత్సరాలుగా కరోనా కారణంగా విద్యార్థులు ఎటువంటి పరీక్షలు రాయకుండానే పై తరగతులు పంపడం జరుగుతుంది ఫలితంగా ఐఐటి జేఈ మరియు నీట్ లాంటి జాతీయ స్థాయి పరీక్షలను సాధించడం కష్టతరం అవుతుంది దీనిని అధిగమించడానికి మరియు పదో తరగతి పరీక్షలు అత్యధిక మార్కులు సాధించడానికి నేను మీ ముందుకు కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ద్వారా అనుభవజ్ఞులైన అధ్యాపకులచే ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్ నోట్స్ మరియు గత ప్రశ్న పత్రాల సమాధానాలను విశ్లేషణ ఇవ్వబడను కాబట్టి నేను విద్యార్థులకు చెప్పదలుచుకున్నది ఏంటంటే ఈ ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులను మరియు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ లను క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో కూర్చొని చదువుకున్నంత సీరియస్ గా చదువుకోవాలను ఇంకొకటి ఏమిటనగా ఈ యొక్క క్లాసులు విన్న వెంటనే అర్థం చేసుకుని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయవలను ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడం అంటే కేవలం చదవడం కాదు పేపర్ మీద రాయవలను అలాగైతే గుర్తుండిపోతుంది దీంతో పాటు మీ యొక్క నాలెడ్జ్ ని పరీక్షించుకున్న కొరకు త్వరలో ప్రీ ఫైనల్ పరీక్షలు కూడా నిర్వహించబడు ఈ యొక్క అవకాశాన్ని సద్వినియోగం చేసుకోవాలని టెన్త్ చదివే విద్యార్థులకు విజ్ఞప్తి చేస్తున్నాను హలో వ్యూవర్స్ ఐ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ టు కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ దిస్ ఇస్ మిస్టర్ జోసఫ్ రెడ్డి ద ఫ్యాకల్టీ ఆఫ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఐ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ టు టుడేస్ క్లాస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ద ఎన్రిచ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ టెన్త్ క్లాస్ సిలబస్ ఆన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ అండ్ ఐ హోప్ ఇట్ విల్ బి రియల్లీ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అండ్ యూస్ఫుల్ ఓకే ఫర్ యువర్ ప్రిపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ క్లాస్ టెన్త్ అండ్ ప్లీజ్ బి వెరీ వెరీ పేషెంట్ అండ్ దెన్ వెరీ వెరీ ఎంతూజియాస్టిక్ టు లర్న్ టు స్కోర్ జీపీఏ టెన్ Why late? Now let us enter into our today's class. So today we are going to discuss about Unit 1, Personality Development. Personality and Physics very often are confused among the people. So Physics is different from Personality. Personality is the inner present qualities, behavior and so many different other things. And Physics or Physical Appearance is something different. most of the times people mistake between these two aspects so personality development so at this outset the first unit talks about the personality which is very very important to today's world so here it is to motivate the students to exactly know about themselves and how to behave in the society as they will be going into open society after their class 10th and here first we have a reading a attitude is altitude if you look at the word attitude attitude is the way that you look at something if you look at something positively we imbibe within ourselves the positive qualities if you just look at negatively you just get only the negative into ourselves so it is the way how you look at the things the way you receive it and here altitude is the height so if you look at the things positively you reach greater heights and if you look negatively you just keep falling down day by day so here we look about nick james yutich who was a torso who had no arms legs anything so he just had just uh, his own uh, trunk body though he achieved so many greater things so here it is our attitude which plays a major role in achieving the things rather than our unnecessary motos here if you look at the childhood of nick james yutich he was born on 4th december 1982 in melbourne australia and even before his birth so he was suffering with a phocomelia a rare occurrence so which does not allow him to have hands and legs so that's he was called as a torso torso is the person one who does not have a hands and legs here generally when you just walk on the road we do have our own uh, hands to do different things when we walk on the road so we have our own legs to kick and uh, play other things but this man had no arms and no legs and though he had no arms and legs he had a small foot on his left hip and which he used to very frequently call it 
chicken drumstick he used to joke it and uh, with the help of this particular uh, small foot on his left hip which he used to call as chicken drumstick he used to do so many things he used to hold the things he used to do so many other things so here if you look at his parents father was a, a computer programmer and an accountant <coughs> and uh, his father he made him to learn a computer at age 6 and made him to type the different things and mother she was a nurse and she invented a special plastic device to hold pen and pencil at the birth of nick the parents both were really shocked his father went out of the hospital to vomit and it has taken him four months in order to digest that fact and his mother blamed herself though she was a nurse she took all the necessary care still he was born as torso so she blamed herself for getting birth as a torso with phocomelia the rare occurrence but right from the beginning the parents did not discourage him here this is the notable fact that the parents should encourage their children should encourage despite their disabilities that is what happened with nick so the parents encouraged right from the childhood so they invented the different things for him and one more notable thing is that they put uh, nick in a mainstream school the ordinary school that we all are studying so they did not put him in a special needs school where all the crippled and other uh, disabled people are there though nick was humiliated though he was really uh, getting so many problems still he continued his work later he realized that it made him self sufficient it made him realize that it made him to stand on his own self here if you look at when he was really depressed disappointed he made a su suicide attempt for two times at the age of 8 he wanted to drown himself and die and at the age 10 he wanted to kill himself but fortunately his attempt was unsuccessful and here uh, he also had a motivational sources at two places and when he was 13 years old he read a article about a disabled man who motivated him a lot and then he realized that this life is to give motivation to others not for our own selves it is not just living for ourselves but it is to motivate others if i can motivate at least one person through my life that is enough that's what he realized when he read about this article and next uh, later on uh, we speak about his meet with the uh, uh, surfing master bethany hamilton in 2008 and uh, here it is noteworthy to mention about bethany hamilton so when she was uh, surfing at the age 12 bethany hamilton was beaten by a shark and uh, her left arm was completely uh, beaten by the shark but even then she still uh, learned surfing and then she started teaching to so many others then in 2008 uh, when nick met bethany hamilton so she started teaching him uh, the surfing and he was so great that within two days after he started surfing within 48 hours after his learning surfing he just uh, came onto the cover page of the surfer magazine surfer magazine is a very famous magazine and uh, it is not really possible to ordinary man to really get onto the cover page of that surfer magazine but uh, nick within 48 of hours of his surfing he could get onto the surfer magazine cover page so that was uh, his uh, great achievement so he could do 360 degree feet because he had low center of gravity with surfing and he also got an award called australian young citizen award in 1990 for his uh, perseverance for his bravery and for all the positive attitude that he had towards himself and then here he and his plans so he was an evangelical christian who was spreading the christianity and not only that so he realized through his life through the motivational sources 
that he had to motivate so many people around the world so he started traveling around the world and started motivating so many people motivating in so many ways so he asks the people if i fail i try again and again and again are you in the same way to try so it is not in the failure that the life lies it is in for proceeding further that we can make greater things through the life of nick james fuchich we can understand disability is not a hindrance for the success so dear children and your parents please realize that if a child has a disability of learning disability of physical or mental or anything else that is not the hindrance it is the encouragement that we make it is the perseverance that we make makes life better that's all for today hello friends myself sunil kumar badal i have done my btech from iit kanpur here at kvc i am chemistry faculty so first of all let me wish you all all the best for your upcoming board examination here at kvc we are the team of iitians and itians and doctor to help you achieve your dream so what are you waiting for come and join us and fulfill your dream hello students i welcome you all to unit 1 reading a glossary here before we go to learn glossary of unit 1 let us learn certain general instructions as to how we can manage or how we can continue with our vocabulary and how to grow our vocabulary and how to understand the comprehensive passage generally when we are supposed to learn a word which is related to vocabulary we need to try to find out the word which is problematic to us write it down in a proper notebook and find out the meaning of the word and the usage of the word and the context where we are supposed to use it there are different words which are used in differently according to the context so find out where that word is supposed to be used and what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to use that word in as many sentences as possible and before the teacher teaches you the lesson please pre read the lesson underline the hard words or the new words whatever you don't know and underline the words and try to write down in a notebook and try to find out the meanings of that words if not when the teacher teaches please ask the doubt and find out the vocabulary and then write it down that particular meaning of it and try to use that particular word as often as possible in your daily conversation to make that particular word as a part of your vocabulary and that has to be in your vocabulary or in your glossary so that that word wherever we use that will be useful to us so up to high school we have around 3000 words if you have to find out the 3000 words where they are available and useful if you take every textbook right from class 6 to 10th the last pages of the textbook they are given the words the new words are the words which are used in the textbook so that you can find out those words you can understand the meanings of those words and start using that words in your vocabulary or in your daily usage so that you speak good and standardized english now let us enter into unit 1 reading a glossary first one is kick down this is a phrasal verb and the meaning of that word is strike forcibly with the foot as you walk on the road you kick the different uh, things on the road so medical explanation here the word medical explanation is a phrase and the meaning of that particular word is cause stated by medical science for every disease for every problem there is an explanation there is a cause so that is what we call it as medical explanation next one is cruel trick 
the word cruel trick is a phrase and the meaning of that particular word is very sad and unfortunate thing happened by fate we mostly believe on fate and which happens suddenly unexpectedly without our expectation and here got into is another word which is also called as phrasal verb started doing or enjoying something or uh, became involved in here the next word is run over so this is also a phrasal verb hit someone or something with something maybe you hit something with a vehicle or something someone uh, and uh, drive over them you hit someone and then drive over them so that's what uh, is the meaning run over give somebody the eye look at someone in a way that communicates romantic interest or uh, that you are interested in when you look at someone so that is what uh, you are interested in one person so that is what the meaning of it here and then freak out the word freak out is also a phrasal verb and to freak out is to make someone upset or shock or uh, frighten someone so this is the meaning of the word freak out next sped off or speed off the past tense form of speed is sped so here we talk about speed or sped off so this is also a phrasal verb and here sped off means left quickly in a vehicle or on a bicycle if you talk about speed off then we call it as a leave quickly in a vehicle or on a bicycle so according to the particular word if you are using it in the past tense it is sped off if it are if you are using it in the present tense that is speed off so next one surf the word surf means to take part in the sport of riding on waves on a surf board so this is called as surf surfing you might have heard about the word surfing so this is what surf and then the word torso so torso means having no arms and legs so here when we talk about neck so he was torso means here he had no arms no legs there was only head and the trunk of the body so that is what we call it as torso so this is about uh, unit 1 reading a uh, glossary and we will uh, see reading b glossary in our next video venu garu ekkadiki prayanam tirupati ki sir maa amma ki hyderabad lone manchi brand unna college lo seat ravalani mukku kodaniki velthunnam tirupati ki velthunnara మరి వైజాగ్ టికెట్ బుక్ చేశారా తిరుపతికి వెళ్తుండే వైజాగ్ టికెట్ బుక్ చేయండి సార్ మరి ఐఐటి నీట్ లో అద్భుతమైన కోచింగ్ ఇచ్చే కాలేజ్ మీ దగ్గరే ఉండగా బ్రాండ్ ఉన్న కాలేజ్ కు వెళ్తానంటారేంటి ఏ కాలేజ్ సార్ వెంకన్నాథ్ జూనియర్ కాలేజ్